Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we don't just survive, we thrive. In this episode, we're going to figure out which strategy might work the best to take on an adversary. To do this, I built a very simple war strategy room. And we're going to take a look if we can find a video of exactly what kind of strategies might be available. Better close the door, don't want any unwanted guests around here. This is the war room. Kind of simple, basic, and secluded in the rest of the ship. Pretty basic, there's four seats, surrounding lights, and two screens. But if you want to just take a seat, we'll get started. Now there's a lot of different war strategies, offense and defense. But today, I picked out four different ones that may pique our unique interests. First one is deception, then guerrilla tactics, and sacrament and shock and awe. All of these have been used in real previous wars. Deception is the first one. A deception is where you try to convince your enemy that you're anything but an enemy. In Space Engineers, we have what you call decoys, and decoys work wonderful as being temporary targets to distract an enemy. On here, on the left side, you can see it's us. We are putting three decoys. On the right side is a freighter with two drones. Now the drones are gonna be distracted by the decoys, and so even if they do attack, they'll attack the decoys. Then we'll follow up with a sneaky ship attack, and bam, freighter's gone. The next one is a guerrilla tactic. A guerrilla tactic is where you kind of wear down your enemy using smaller forces. Since this is only a single player mode, it's improbable to be able to control multiple ships at one time without setting waypoints. So in this case, we're going to try to use warhead drones. First, aim for one or two of the drones and possibly take both of them out. Or, while they're distracted, we'll sneak past them and take out the freighter. The third one is the encirclement strategy. With this one, you're going to lead the enemy to thinking that they have no other choice but to go away from your one ship while they don't realize your ship is actually driving them into your platform. So your platform will be attacking them and so will your ship. As you can see, the freighter has moved towards our ship in its general direction. Our cruiser ship has bypassed both drones, taken them out, and now takes out the freighter ship along with the assistance of the platform. The final one is shock and awe. This strategy is used by more sophisticated countries typically and is used to overwhelm the enemy before they decide to attack back. Since we can't control two different ships at the same time, we're going to use the platform on one side and the cruiser ship on the other. And when the enemy comes in, they will be attacked from both sides repeatedly. And there you have it. All four strategies. We are going to try each one of these strategies, but first we're going to have to build a few ships here and there and strategically position our platform. Well, go ahead and let me know what you think we should do in the comments section, and I'll try it out. Until then, I'm going to get back to building. Hmm. 
around this area, I would probably start out 